From the back side of the penetration, you'll see that we have panels six inches above the top of the penetration. I have one inch tabs on the rake wall flashings coming around the top. And at this point, if this was a large penetration, I would build a cricket and install a cricket. In this particular, with this particular penetration, at the bottom here, I've got 10 and a half inches. So that's small enough that I can fit a flat pan behind it. <clears throat> so when making a flat pan, I'm going to measure from the first rib out, first rib next to the penetration on each side. So I'm coming from this edge and measuring to this, this panel rib. Measurement is 28 inches. So the width of my flat pan will be 28 inches. And I'm going to bring it up 12 inches to allow a uh, connection of panels above it. After, at that point, I will cut and fold pan, uh, the top, the back side of the flat pan to go around the top side of the penetration. I've made the flat pan. As you can see, I've got tabs, half inch tabs on the back side to go over the rake wall. I've got a one inch tab on the top of the penetration and I've cut it 28 inches wide. Now this is going to fit right in place just like this. However, before I put this down, I'm going to put tube sealant underneath. Easiest way to do this is just to simply draw a line on each side to determine where to put the sealant. I've now got my lines to show where the bottom of the flat pan will be installed. I'm gonna, then just going to take tube sealant and I'll install it up the rib and then back and forth all the way across the metal and then I'll put a good amount of tube sealant right on the corners as these are your two weak points that you have to be concerned about. Put the tube sealant in all the way across and then we'll install the flat pan. I have the flat pan in place. I'll secure it with a couple of screws. And then we'll determine where we're going to attach our offset cleat. <clears throat> we want to come across the same cut that we have on the bottom of our flat pan. We want to continue all the way to the rib and place a mark on the rib on both sides, both the female and the male. From that point, we're going to choose points high up above the penetration and we're going to connect the points to put offset cleat all the way around the penetration. When installing the offset cleat, I'll first take my square blade and I'll place it parallel to the penetration. I'll transfer that line all the way up near the top side where I'll be attaching the offset cleat and that'll be my connector point. I'll then determine what dimension I want for my height for my offset cleat and in this case I'm going to use eight and a half inches as my top side measurement. Mark, mark, and then I'll just simply connect my marks down at the bottom to the marks at the top. I'll draw a line. And then I can install three pieces of offset cleat over double bead butyl tape. I've installed all three offset cleats in double bead butyl tape. <clears throat> Once I have those in place, I can then cut my upper panels. What's important is that my second upper panel ends in line with the male rib down below. So this is, this is the male rib. What I'll, come, what I'll come back to is 16 inches, measure 16, and then just make sure I'm close. And I'm rated 12 and a quarter, which is the width of my bottom panel. So I'm gonna cut this panel 12 and a quarter, turn up the edge, just as I've done with the lower panel, secure, uh, cut my, my miter on my offset cleats, for panel for the top panel number one and number two and then I'll install them. I've cut my first panel, turned up the edge on the rake, I've got tab, one inch tabs on the bottom, I filled them with tube sealant, 
and I'll just simply slide this panel into place, hooking on to the offset cleat. Before I install the second panel, I have to notch out the male leg on the lower panel. <clears throat> Coming right across the back side of the penetration to the point where the offset cleat meets the panel rib, I'm going to notch the male leg down to that point. Now I don't want to notch the back, the out, I don't want to watch, notch the inside of the panel. Not, if I notch the inside of the panel, I have a chance of leak as water could enter that cut. Instead, I'll notch the outside nailer strip off all the way down to that point. I've cut and folded hems on the second panel. I have tube sealing inside the hem. I'll now install over the offset cleat. Put the panel in place and secure with screws.